DeepCool was founded in Beijing in 1996 and has, in recent years, earned a solid reputation in the CPU cooler space with options like the Assassin Roman 3 and the K620 considered to be some of the best CPU air coolers on the market. The company's lineup includes both air and AIO coolers, as well as computer cases, keyboards, power supplies, and other accessories. But with the latest CPU from AMD and Intel requiring ever more capable cooling, DeepCool is back with a new Act 500 air cooler. The Act 500 features a Chungus radiator and a 120MF K120 fan. But is that enough to tame Intel's 12,900K and earn a spot on our best coolers list? We'll have to put it through testing to find out. But first, here are the Act 50 specifications from DeepCool. Cooler installation. Installing DeepCool's Act 500 is mostly easy. To begin, you will press the backplate against your motherboard, and then use the thumbscrew standoffs to secure it. Afterward, set the mounting bars on the standoffs and secure them using the included thumbscrews. The Act 500's thermal paste isn't pre-installed, but DeepCool instead includes a medium-sized tube of thermal paste that can be used for multiple applications. After applying the thermal paste, you will need to secure the heatsink against the mounting bars with the captive screws. This is where it can be a little tricky. The screw on the right is easy enough to secure, but the screw on the left requires the use of a long screwdriver through the body of the heatsink, and it can be tricky to aim properly. What's different than other coolers? Angled heat pipes with tall DRAM compatibility. The heat pipes on the Act 500 have an angled offset, which allows for compatibility with tall RAM. You shouldn't have to worry about RAM height causing installation problems. DeepCool says the internal capillary structure of the heat pipes has been optimized to achieve high heat dissipation, no matter the orientation of the cooler, whether installed vertically or horizontally. Testing configuration. I'll be testing DeepCool's Act 500 paired with Intel's Inini 12900K CPU installed in MSI Isaac's 190 a PRO DDR4 motherboard and be quiet silent base 802 computer. This means that coolers that kept previous generation products like the Inini 10900K nice and cool sometimes struggle to keep Intel's Inini 12900K under TJ Maxx. Many coolers I tested have failed to keep the Inini 12900K under TJ Maxx when power limits are removed in workloads like Cinebench and OCCT. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure if you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.